Hi guys, welcome back to part 7 of the simple uh, animal breeding tutorial series here. Um, we are working on the Papa Pig. I don't know why I just closed what I did. Let's go back to your content blueprints folder, open up your BP mating point, and delete all three nodes you have in there. Select your sphere collision. Add event on component begin overlap. Select it again. Add event on component end overlap. And after you do that, let's go back to the third person example map. And in your content, add a new folder called BPIs for blueprint interfaces. We're going to right click in the uh, window here and we're going to select blueprints the one down below and select blueprint interface and call this BPI character open that up and a new function is going to be is pop a pig question mark and the output is going to be yes all right go back up here add a new one new function is mama pig question mark go down here add an output yes okay compile and save and close now open up your mama pig Go to her class settings. You'll see interfaces over here on the right hand side. Click add, add BPI character, compile and save. Then go over to where it shows interfaces. Click on is mama pig and check yes. Okay. Go to papa pig, class settings, interfaces. Over here on the right, click the add and add the BPI character compile and save go over here on the left side to interfaces is Papa Pig check yes and save okay then go back to the BP mating point that we made and we're going to drag off of other actor and we're gonna say is Papa Pig message okay we're going to drag off a yes and hit a branch. Okay. Then we're going to drag in male present holding alt to get a setter. On true, we're going to set male present. Go back over here to the variables, hit plus, and say female present question mark. Compile and save. Drag off of other actor again and say is mama pig message. Okay, plug that in. Drag off a yes, select a branch. And drag in female present with the alt held so you can get a setter. Set true and tick it. Now for the on component end overlap, all we have to do is copy all of this. Come down here and control V to paste it. Plug this in and untick these Boolean values so they'll go to false. Okay. Whoop. Oh, we forgot her target. Let's plug this in. Here we go and we're all good okay that's all we have to do for that so we'll close that close the mama go back to the papa and close that we don't need stop animation play animation open we just need the event graph so now I guess we're gonna go ahead and set up the what do we got show mating widget all right, let me find my sheet for that. So it was right here. And 
find oh here it is <laughs> sorry I set it to the to the right so I'd find it quick that didn't work out did it show mating widget okay let's bring this down here all right first thing we need to do is actually add the widget to the papa that would be our mating widget so we're gonna hit add component type in widget select widget not widget interaction select widget and let's change the name to mating widget okay with it selected over here on the right hand side under user interface set the space to screen set the widget class to our WDG mating widget that we made in the first episode and we're going to set our draw size to 256 by 256 okay compile and save I think that's right <laughs> I guess we'll find out all right so we got that set up let's drag in the mating widget over here by our show mating widget event graph and we'll drag off of it and say get user widget object okay and let's drag off of this and let's cast to WDG mating that's our widget plug that into the show mating widget all right now we're going to drag our mating widget in again right here drag off of that and we'll say set viz for set visibility all right we'll plug that in we're going to tick new visibility and we're going to drag off of our as widget mating we're going to bring it over here and we're going to say play heart anim okay plug that in there I'm gonna hit some reroute nodes here make it a little neater so you can see what's going on all right then we're going to drag off a play heart animation and we're going to add a delay and we'll drag off the duration and we're going to get a random float in range this is the minimum and maximum amount of time that they make so I'll set this to 10 with anywhere between 10 and whoops 20 seconds okay whoops not 50 20 thank you all right so we got that set now we're gonna drag off our mating widget again over here and we're gonna do set viz for set visibility tap a reroute node here to bring it up a little bit make it a little neater and we're gonna leave these blank so it'll turn it off so we won't be able to see the widget anymore when we turn it off so I'm gonna bring this down here I'm gonna add another reroute node to make it a little neater okay so that's what we have and after we set the visibility we're gonna call our stop animation function and then we're gonna call our random roam animation okay then we're going to get our female pig reference mom pig reference drag her in there drag off of her and look for is pregnant and choose a set this time set is pregnant okay gonna go here and you're gonna tick that box set is pregnant I'm gonna drag off the mama reference again we're gonna say stop animation see make sure it says target is ch mom pig stop that and do that okay and we're gonna drag off a of mama reference again and we're gonna call her random room hit a reroute no bring it up here like that okay so I'll tell you okay show mating widget we're gonna get the mating widget we're gonna cast to it we're going to drag that in we're gonna set its visibility so it can be seen we're gonna play our heart animation that we made in the first episode and it's gonna play for anywhere between 10 and 20 seconds 
Then after it's done, we're going to set it to be invisible. And we're going to stop the animation of the Papa Pig, which is his idle animation, but we don't have to define that. And we're going to set it to random room, so he'll go off on his way. We're going to call the uh, Mama Pig reference and set her eggs pregnant bull to true. We're going to stop her animation and set her to random room. So she'll just walk off and go away. So there we have it. That's everything for the Papa Pig. Let's save it. Now, let me see if I'm missing anything here. <laughs> um, okay, on our third person map, I'm going to hit P to get rid of that green nav mesh map visibility thing. We're going to get rid of our pig. And we're going to go to your blueprints, drag in your mating point, okay? Let's set it oh, somewhere around here, don't really matter. Let's grab our pigs, our variety pack here. The message, messes, meshes, good lord. Okay, and let's put you over here. Now when you drag it in, click on it over here on the right hand side and go down here and set the wants to mate to true okay and then keeps uh, we have to uh, add a target we have to add a target point and I'm going to add it at the same location as our BP mating point so to do that I'm going to select it copy its location, select my target point, and paste that. So there it is, right in the middle of it. I'm going to grab the target point, and I'm going to rename it mating point. Okay, whoops, why am I on caps? Okay, mating point, all right. So let's select the uh, Papa Pig again. And as we scroll down here, we should see a target point that we have to choose. Keep going. Okay, where's it going to be? I did set it to uh, expose on spawn, didn't I? Let me check. Papa Pig. Oh, mating spot, reference, mating point. Okay, let's go back to the Papa Pig mating point, make it instance editable. Tick that up here and then tick on expose on spawn. Okay, that's why we couldn't see it. So now you have your pigs uh, selected. Let's go back up here. Let's scroll down till we find the mating point. Okay, so he wants to mate, yes. And he has a mating point, which is that mating point. Okay save. Now let's find the mama pig. Let's check her as well. Mating point. Okay, we remember to do hers. Whoops, I just set it to... Okay, she's set. All right, let's drag her in. Uh, let's put her over here. With her selected, we're going to set her once to mate to true. And we're going to set her mating point to the same mating point. Okay. I think that's all we have to do. And fingers crossed. Let's this, uh, hope this works. <laughs> so let's hit play. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We forgot something. Go to Papa Pig. Choose the mating widget. And go down to where... It says visible and tick unvisible, not visible, untick it. Okay, let's try this. Wait, one more thing. Go to back, stay on, uh, let me stop that. Stay on the uh, Papa Pig and let's make sure nothing's going to interrupt his navigation. Select your mating widget, put in nav up here in the details. Can never affect navigation. You want that set to false. 
So set that to false. And that's the only thing we have on him. And Let's check the mom. We don't have anything on her. All right, let's hit play and check out our pigs. Okay, they're going to go to the mating point. Can we tell the difference? Oh yeah, he's that's the male. He's got dirty. Not very much difference. I can show you how to make a bigger difference. Oh, now he's going up her butt. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Let's not do that. Let's uh Let's put them over here. And the placement's going to make a difference. You know, they'll have to come in from different angles to to be right. Let's put him uh, <laughs> over here. <laughs> All right, let's check it out. Let's see what they do now. Okay. Why is he walking sideways? Is that the male? Wait, why is he facing the wrong way? Let me check this. Let's look at the top. All right, we need to turn him around. Okay, minus 90. That's how I had him. Okay. Let's check the mama. Okay, she's facing the right direction. Let's see if they're walking in the right direction. I'm not sure what's going on. Hmm. I might have to do his own uh, animation blueprint. Yeah, I don't know what that's all about. Let's go back and check uh, event graph. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and give him his own animation blueprint. All right, animation, we'll do his own animation blend space, select the pig, and I want to name this BS Papa Pig, blend space Papa Pig, let's do his. All right, we're going to name this speed, and we're going to make this 150, I believe. Okay, let's drag in the idle animation. Now yeah, we can make him look around idle. Then on 75, we'll add his walk. I kind of figured I had to make a different blend space. I just hope this fixes it. Okay, so we got him walking and him running. Okay, save. Close that. Go to Papa Pig Browse. Let's create an animation blueprint. Choose the pig skeleton. Okay. Anim BP Papa Pig. Let's open that up. And let's drag in Papa Pig's blend space. All right, and we're going to put a default in there. And we're going to promote this to speed, just like we did twice before. Compile and save. Let's go to the mom pig. Browse. Let's open up her so we can get her event graph. Okay, we'll copy that. And we'll go into the papa pig event graph. And we'll control V. All right, let's get rid of this. Drag off of here. We're going to promote to a variable. We'll say Papa Pig Pawn Ref. Like I said, I don't think we need that in what I'm doing now, but 
maybe later on we will. Let's get rid of this and this. Let's cast to CH Papa Pig. Alright, and we'll make this into a variable called Papa Pig Ref. Okay? Good. And the rest is the same, so we'll compile. Go back to Papa Pig, Blueprint, check the mesh, go down here, Animation Blueprint. Let's set it to Papa Pig, compile and save. And in the play animation, no, stop animation, we'll select Anim BP Papa Pig. Okay. Let's try. I don't know why he's walking sideways. I don't get it. <laughs> Let me stop this for a second and I'll be right back. Okay, simple fix. On character movement, we forgot to uh, select character movement, go over here to details and hit orient, ORI, tick orient rotation to movement. Had me stump for a minute or two. Compile and save. Alright, now let's play. There we go. Okay, they're going over here to their mating point. Probably should have left the mating point visible so we could see exactly where it is. Okay. Oh, she got a little close. She's right inside. <laughs> we can fix that. Right, we should see the uh hmm. let's see what's wrong here. The event graph. Well let's look at uh I'm gonna look at the blueprint mating point. Okay, those are supposed to be set. Okay. Now Papa, mate checking, is male present. Let me take a look at find a mate. Okay, let's uh, set that to 100 on both of them because they're too close. Where's her find a mate? Here he is. Okay, let's see if we solve that problem first. Oh, wait. I know one other thing, and Papa Pig on the mating widget, we didn't set its uh, placement. Let me go into perspective here. See, it's down inside him, so we need to set it up above him. Okay, forgot that. I knew I'd forget something. Alright, so let's try this again. Please work. <laughs> They're playing their animation. See if they ever uh, show the widget. Come on, guys. Okay. Well, 
they're stuck right there so let's check uh, the mating point let's put some print strings in here to see if this is being set to true gotta start troubleshooting now all right we're gonna set that to four seconds we're gonna leave that blue for the male and I'm going to copy this, Control W. I'm going to come over here, and we're going to make this pink for the female. All right, let's check their status, see if it's true. And let me, uh, I'm going to set this sphere to not be hidden in game so we can see where they're going. It's all part of game development. You got to figure out where the mistakes are. Everything can't work right off the bat. Okay, that's true. She's not getting set to true for some reason. Why is that? Mating point. Why isn't she getting set to true? Um, hmm. So he's true. I'm going to put a delay in here for checking if the female's here. Let's make it, uh, oh, let's make it five seconds. Actually, we can print that and then put the delay right here. Let's see if that helps. Okay. Okay, for him it's true. There, it's true for both. have to look at my other project and see what's going on here I'll have to do an eighth episode of troubleshooting all right it's pretty clear he's not gonna show all right so why are you giving me such a hard time there mr. pig find a mate okay find a mate mate checking which is here the male present it's true random floating range he waits anywhere from 5 to 15 seconds before checking if she's pregnant show mating widget okay show mating widget we cast to it we set its visibility Play the heart anim anywhere from 10 to 20. Let's see if this is being called. Okay, we'll run that for four seconds. <sighs> Well, three seconds, good enough. Change its color to green. Let's see if it's even ever being called. I'll probably have to stop this and do a seventh uh, video. Or eighth, I can't remember what we're on right now. waiting 5 to 15 seconds before it shows the widget, right?
Maybe he just doesn't like her. <laughs> okay. All right, it's clear it's not going to take place. So let's, um, I'm going to stop this here and I'll do another video with the, uh, with the, uh, how we work out how to fix this, okay? So I will see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.